Hello and welcome to another video. So today we have another yarn review. Um, I have checked out yarns from Michaels, I have checked out yarns from Joann's, but I have never actually bought any yarn from Hobby Lobby before until today or until a week ago, I guess, to be completely honest. Um, so I tested out Hobby Lobby yarns. Now, a few caveats for this. As with most of my yarn review videos, I did try to stick to a particular type of yarn. So this one in particular is the acrylic based types. I also mostly stuck around the weight four um, yarns. However, I do have, I think, a weight five in there, possibly a weight three. Um, just kind of, you know, oh, and look, Maya's back. Um, she has joined us. I just fed her, so hopefully she's in a good mood. But I also just got home from work, meaning she's been alone all day, so we'll see, um, what happens with that. But I know you guys have all missed her, because I know that you are not here for me. You are here for this one here, being her usual demonic self. Anyway, so, wait four, wait five, um, acrylic. Um, I got several different varieties of the store brand um it's that yarn i think a yarn bee is what it's called um as well as the only other type of yarn that i could find in the store um acrylic yarn i mean um because i mostly just had the yarn bee which was something that was very surprising to me um and it really reminded me of michael's because michael's you know has basically been taken over with their loops and threads um store brand. And it seems like Hobby Lobby is doing the same. Joann's, I don't notice that as much, but I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just a difference in how they're laid out. I like, I know they have a store brand, but like, I just don't see it as overwhelmingly um, there as I did in Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Um, I think she sees a bird. Maybe. You're just going to see the tail whacking. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so starting out, um, I wanted to start with the non yarn B1. So it is the I Love This Yarn brand. Um, I've never seen it before, so I assume it's a Hobby Lobby thing. I don't know. I, I've never seen it at Joann's or Michael's. Um, this particular one is weight four. So like I said, most of them are weight. Um, this is 97% acrylic. Um, the 3% is just the little sparklies in it. I don't know if you can see the little sparklies. Um, I did also get the non-metallic one, the one that didn't have sparklies, just to see if there is a big difference. But honestly, I didn't really have much trouble using this, so I figured the one that didn't have metallics would probably be even easier to use. So, speaking of, this is my little octoguy. Like usual, I made one of these for each of these yarns, just so you can see yarn comparisons, how they work up, all that fun stuff stuff because it's a very simple pattern. Um, this one is very similar to another one that had tinsel in it. Uh, the, this one here, uh, the Universe from Hobie. It really reminded me of that just because the little tinsel does make it slightly more challenging to work with just because it does get caught up in the um, hook and it does kind of catch a few times, I guess. But other than that, the yarn itself was very easy to work with. I had absolutely no problem with it. As you can see, it kind of works up into a little medium guy. Um, he's not too small, not too um, big. Um, and he has such cute little sparkles. So like the sparkle, metallic, tinsel, whatever you want to call it, is definitely worth it, I think. Like, yes, it does add a little bit of a challenge, but I think it makes it so much cuter. This color, by the way, I'll see if I can find it. It's Peacock. Um, I, if you notice, I generally go for bright colors. Um, so I really liked this color. So, um, I think it's really pretty. Now the yarn feels pretty standard. I mean, I would compare it to, uh, most of, you know, my Michael's impeccable, uh, loops and threads impeccable. Um, any of those ones that like, or just kind of standard yarn. Red Heart. It doesn't really feel anything special. It's not super soft. It's not super rough. It's just yarn. Um, just your basic acrylic yarn. Um, fraying. I always try to check for that too. There's not a lot with this. And again, like I said in a lot of these videos, fraying is not the right word. I'm just looking for like the little 
tendrils, the little hair that comes off of it. Um, and there's not a ton with this one. It's pretty good. So I really did actually like this yarn and it did come in a ton of colors and obviously metallic and non-metallic. So I would definitely recommend this. It was pretty cheap too. I think it's their value yarn. Um, so this one was $4.99. Um, and it's a pretty big skein, as you can see. Like, it's not, like, huge, but, you know, it's a pretty regular size. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend, definitely recommend this. Super easy to use. Lots of pretty colors. Um, basic acrylic yarn. So, since we have one that I liked quite a lot. I want to move on to one that I didn't like so much, which is Yarn Bee Soft Secret. Now, I'm pretty sure this is their, their store brand version of um, Caron Simply Soft, uh, which if you've heard me talk about it before, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of this one either. This one was probably the most annoying to work with out of all of the ones I got. It just kept catching on the hook. Um, especially when it came to making like the little like octo leg kind of things. Um, th th I'll, I'll hopefully figure it out later and put it in the edit. Um, anyway, so yeah, it just, it breaks, it catches on the hook. It's not my favorite. Um, this particular one is color raspberry. The weight is number four. Uh, it is 100% acrylic. As I said, I'm just not a fan. Um, it's just like Michael's uh, Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny, I think is what that one's called. Carol Simply Soft. They're all basically the same, and I hate them all. They're all terrible. Um, as you can see, this little guy is quite a bit smaller. Um, I'll do size comparisons at the end, of course. Um, you can see a lot of the little, like, tendrils off of him if you look up in the light. I, I mean, I'm sure you guys can, but, like, I can. Um... And like I said, he was just a pain to make because it just kept, like, breaking the yarn, splitting the yarn, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was just not fun. Um, I I just did not like it. Um, it is soft. I will give it that. It has a soft and shiny feel to it. Shiny feel? It doesn't really make sense. It is soft and it has a shiny look to it, I guess. That's trying what I'm trying to say. Um and now it's on the floor because Maya did not like it either. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it, not my favorite. Um, so let's just move on to the next one. And we're back. Sorry if the angle has changed a bit. Um, the cat has decided she should mess with the tripod, which is always fun. Um, she's shaking it again now, so maybe you guys will see that, unfortunately. I have chased her away a few times, and she just keeps coming back, because that's my cat. Oh, look, now she's given up on that. Um, anyway, so the next yarn I want to talk about is this Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pro Fiber. I don't know what it's equivalent of. I do know that I did like it. Um, it's a really pretty color. This one is in... See if I can find the color name. Berry Mix. Maya. Oh my gosh. Apparently she likes this one, so she wanted it for herself. Anyway, Berry Mix. It is weight number four. Um, 100% low pill acrylic is what it says, which is probably why I like it. Um, I don't know. I the pilling, I would assume, has something to do with how nice it didn't fray like the other one did. Um, it stayed together. Also, it's just such a pretty color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so pretty. Um, this guy is a little bit bigger than the last one, but so pretty small. And also just so pretty. Like, I love this color combination. It's so nice. Uh, this is also very soft. Like, it's not silky soft, but soft. Um, I really like it, um, so I would definitely recommend this one. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, I would be intrigued to know what is the equivalent of, because I'm sure it's the equivalent of something. I'm sure it's, you know, Hobby Lobby's brand of something. But, um, yeah, I do like this one. It's really pretty and nice, and Maya likes it too because she tried to steal it. 
And next we have Yarnby's chromatic spectrum. So like, these were such interesting names. I mean, like, I'm like, Yarnby, Yarnby, Yarnby. Like I said, Hobby Lobby, just like Michael's, has their own brand just taking over everything. But this particular one was chromatic spectrum. Now, typically I stay away from the yarns that have like, I don't know, you can obviously tell it's two strands twisted together. I, I don't like the look as much, um, but I just wanted to make sure to try a range of different yarns there. Um, this one, by the way, is weight three, so it is light. Um, as you can tell, it is a bit smaller. It's not as small as some of the other ones I've done, though, so it's not terribly small. Um, I really do like the color of this one. I think it's really pretty. Um, this one also is 100% acrylic. This color is Island Life, so again, really, really pretty. Um, I just really like the combination. Now, using it... It was better than their, whatever, the, their Care on Simply Soft knockoff. Um, but it wasn't as nice as that last one I talked about. Because the two strands, they kind of split sometimes when I was using them. So that wasn't always the easiest. Um, but overall, like, it wasn't bad. And just looking at it, it's not fraying a lot. So it's pretty nice. It is smaller. But I do really like the color combination. I just think he's really cute. Um, I'm not even going to give the chance to, for her to see if she likes it. Because, you know, she'll steal it. Or knock it off the table. One of the two. But yeah, so this one is uh, Yarnby's Chromatic Spectrum. So um, I like it. I would definitely recommend this. Especially if you are one who likes the little twisted strands. And finally, the last one I reviewed is the, well, I guess it's actually Baby B, so not the uh, same thing. It's one of their baby brands, I guess. Sweet Delight Chunky. Now, this one did come in a smaller one, but it seemed really small, so I decided to jump up to this one, because this one is weight five, so it's bulky. Um, it's also only 80% acrylic and 20% polymide. But oh my gosh, guys, this is so soft, which is probably why it's in their baby, baby brand, baby, baby light. I don't know. Uh, the color is happy go lucky, which, oh no, happy go lucky, happy go rainbow, which makes so much more sense. Um, but you can see that it's super rainbowy. And look how cute this guy is. He might be the favorite one that I've made. Also, see, Maya approves too. She wants it. Um, as you can see, he's quite a bit bigger. It really shows that number five weight. Um, it's also very soft. Like, this guy is so soft. I just love the rainbow color, though. Super, super pretty. Um, I didn't have any trouble with this. Um, it is like another one where it's kind of like multiple strands twisted together, so it did catch a little bit. But again, not as bad as that other one. That one just... The soft and shiny and or Carolyn Simply Soft and or whatever else Hobby Lobby calls it. Um, that one. That one's a pain. But the rest of these have been pretty nice. So I have actually been pleasantly surprised by Hobby Lobby store brand. Um, and they're just, they have so many colors and variations. And like I said, this one in particular, I absolutely adore this color and the texture, it is so soft. But I said, like the one thing I will complain about is that it does split because it's the twisted strands. And a lot of the yarn I did see there was twisted strands. So that is just one thing that I was like, oh, you know, usually I don't go for that, but, and I guess like all yarn is twisted, but like, you know, when you can tell that it's twisted more significantly. Also, another thing about Hobby Lobby yarns that I noticed were there weren't very many big skeins. And I'll get into that a little bit with the plushy yarn review when it's, cause I also got a lot of plushy yarns and you'll eventually see that video. Um, but like the skeins for the, those were so much smaller than Michael's. Um, so that would be another thing. If you want to get like a big skein of yarn, they just didn't have them. They were almost like small. So yeah, that was the last one that I reviewed. Now I want to show you a kind of ranking comparison, that kind of thing. Okay, so we have all of our yarns here, all of our little Octo guys. So size wise, our smallest one actually comes in at the... It was soft secret. That's 
the Hobby Lobby one. I can think of all the other names for it, but not the Hobby Lobby version. So that's really interesting because this one is actually weight four, while this one is weight three, and yet this one is definitely smaller. So barely, like it's barely, but he is smaller. Um, so our second one, second smallest, is the chromatic spectrum. So you can see the size difference there. Then we have the, I'm trying to look at the names here, soft and sleek. Soft and sleek is our number three, and you can see the size comparison between these two here. And then we have the, I love this yarn. Um, he's quite a bit bigger, so let me show you that size comparison. Sorry, Maya is making this a little bit complicated, so I'm just juggling things here. Um, but you see the size difference there. And then finally, our Sweet Delight Chunky. Um, he is quite a bit bigger. Do you see that size difference? So much bigger. Um, so you can really see that number five versus number four right there. Um, Yarn comparisons in general, I would say ease of use. Definitely this one. This one was the easiest to use. Um, although this one was a, probably a very close contender. This one also, like, it just came in so many different colors. So if I just picked one just overall favorite, probably this. Now, if I wanted to pick something overall, like, look, I would say this. And also softness. This is definitely the softest of all of them. Which, again, it's their baby line. So that is why. Um, but yeah, so that is my review of Hobby Lobby yarns, acrylic yarns. Um, like I said, the plushy version is going to be coming out soon. Um, we'll get to try all that. I've already started trying them and it hasn't been going extremely well so far. Um, but it's also early days, also early, day, early days. I do also want to do like a Joann's versus Michael's versus Hobby Lobby kind of thing because those are the big three craft stores in the U.S. at least. Um, so I do kind of want to do a comparison eventually. Um, so if you want to see that, just let me know down in the comments and I will try to put something together and compare some yarns and see what they all kind of look like at the different stores and my favorite, the top one out of out of the American craft stores, the big three. Um, unless there's another one that I'm not thinking about, but I think everybody just generally Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's. But if there is one that I'm missing, let me know and I'll throw that in there too. Um, if you liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, she's being adorable, so she will really love your like, commenting, and subscribing. She was very excited, by the way, to be back in front of the camera. So yes, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.